Today I'm working on a Honda 7.5 horsepower kicker motor and that's of course the four stroke. It's probably late 80s. It's kind of hard to find the years on these but there's the CDI ignition so it's the later model. I got the flywheel off and there's a there's no spark so um, to trace the no spark I've I've replaced uh, this coil under here that's what it looks like and uh, usually on all these motors I work on it's a fuel problem but in this case it's a it's an ignition problem and there's on the Honda there's several ignition modules there's this there's one CDI box here and there's another one here which I believe is the problem I believe this is called the exciter coil but someplace it'll list it as, as a, C, a CDI so forgive me but it goes right there it goes right there there's also this coil and there's also a oil switch this tells you if you have oil pressure connects to this this is all in the same circuit so if this fails then you also won't have any spark and there's also a neutral safety switch which i bypassed but which can also fail and give you a no spark condition so all these things have to work together um, just one will make it fail so anyway so now how you know you have a good one of these coils is you put your multimeter on ohms so it beeps when you touch it we don't care about the beep but we care about the resistance so I'm gonna hold the phone and do this so I put one wire or one probe inside the wire and if I touch it's kind of intermittent because I'm holding it with my belly um, but basically 0.27 so it's got a little resistance the one that was bad had zero it did not beep you can tell it was bad right away so this is a positive sign let's do it let's install it anyway it's the moment of truth I think I have the problem isolated to this part right here which you can still get getting tougher to find parts for um, You'd think the Hondas would be easy to find parts for, but not the case. There's a lot of stuff you have to go to eBay. So this is um, my father-in-law's motor. It's the same motor. It's a lot crustier, nastier. you think it would be the one that broke, but it's not the case. Um, and he let me kind of trial and error things to see what went wrong, which was very helpful. And uh, so yeah, let's put on the, uh, the exciter coil and see what happens. Here's the flywheel. Flywheel's not too bad to get off. I just used a Harbor Freight uh, flywheel puller right here. This is a bolt type wheel puller, this thing. This thing was, this is also how I have lifted big outboards like 150 four strokes so this thing's pretty cool you get all that stuff with it and I thought it was kind of a pain to pull off the flywheel but it actually was really easy and uh, I'll show you how I did it so I wouldn't be worried at all basically this wheel puller just will sit right on there and then these 10, 10 millimeter metric bolts screw right in to the, uh, the same holes that this cup goes on and you twist this thing down it pops the flywheel it's actually not too bad I would say it's actually easier than pulling off this one which I did first this one unbolts very easy but the thing about this one if you pull it off you have to keep it, the sink perfect or you can mess up your cam and uh, mix up your cam alignment and then your valves will crash into your pistons so this one the flywheel here you don't mess with the belt so it's pretty easy all right 
install two bolts very easy you run the wire out okay here's the flywheel and it has a woodruff key we got to put in the crankshaft okay so the flywheel's on torqued it put this little cup on and here's the recoil starter it's super easy and it just sets on there with three screws one two bolts excuse me three let's tighten it down so the way I've been checking for spark is this spark tester works really well it's adjustable attach like that where the spark plug would be and then you just clip on ground it somewhere and I turn it I can see the window and uh, you see that little gap there you can set the gap these Hondas have a pretty weak spark so I set it pretty close I see who is it yeah you can see see look right there look right there don't touch it though okay, okay now we're gonna turn off the lights and see if we have a spark Ready? Oh yeah, I saw a spark. See it? Harper, tell us what you saw. A spark. You saw a spark. Yeah, I did too. So a spark right there on the uh, spark tester, which means we fixed it. Happy times. Yay. And there's the video proof. The motor runs great now. Starts, uh, it just started one pull for choke and one pull for not choke. I'm totally cold, so that's great. I guess the point of this video is diagnosis is kind of tricky on Daddy. these Hondas, but if you pay attention to what the ohm should be, look in your manual. Um, you can save yourself a lot of money versus doing a trial and error thing. I was, this is the last thing I checked. I checked every single po component on this thing, and I didn't know about, I didn't know what was under the flywheel. And I thought it was kind of a pain to pull off the flywheel, but it actually was really easy. I try to ohm some stuff out and test it before you go trial and error. If you trial and error at every single ignition part, you know, you'd be way over what this motor is even worth. So, um, anyway, this box right here is a CDI box, cost about $120. So that's, that's a big expense. Hopefully that one's not bad. This as well is the other big expense. This little part, um, which is about forty-ish dollars, and this one I got new off eBay for seventy-ish dollars. Um, but there weren't that there weren't too many of them. I saw some used ones for eighty. Good luck, guys. I hope this video helps you with your motor. I know diagnosing uh, electrical problems and really any problem with your motor can be really frustrating. Um, but if you stay at it and take it one step at a time, uh, it feels really good to, to fix that motor without taking it to the shop. Um, so keep at it. Um, keep poking around. It's, it's always the last thing you check. So if this video helped you out at all, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe. I, I've shot a lot more videos than I've uploaded. I just haven't had time to. Um, but uh, they're on my computer, so I just need to get to editing. So. Take care.